Hey, what's up you guys? This is Kylie Curls. Welcome back to my channel. I have gotten the entire collection from Pattern Beauty. This is by Tracy Ellis Ross. Loved her in Girlfriends. I love her in Blackish. She's the funniest woman ever. I ain't got time to be wasted. So, let's see. Cool package. Has a little picture rings right here. Like this. It goes another picture. You open it, it becomes one picture. Really cool. I love it. So it comes with um, the leave-in conditioner, the hydration shampoo, heavy conditioner, yeah. a microfiber towel, a brush, which is cool because I needed a brush, so I'll be testing that out too. This cool um, little tote bag that has Tracy Ellis Ross on it. Mama. She's looking bomb. Mama. A continuous spray bottle, a hair clip, a big hair clip, and it also came with a serum too. I didn't even know that they had a serum, so I'm excited to try them out. This is gonna be my first time trying them out. I've heard mixed reviews on them, so I can't wait to try it out on myself because, you know, I just wanna see how it works for me. Now I'm working on, this is like three day old hair, but it was stretched out because I did, I corn rolled it, so it's kinda of stretched out. I don't think it's super tangled just because I already had wash day, like, ooh, be careful, Max. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try them out in the shower, and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know my results and let you guys know how it's going. Baby, don't open it yet. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just jumping in and out of the shower every single time because it's much easier to just check on the boys instead of being in the bathroom by myself, and I can't have them in there because they'll knock my camera over. So, so right now I have the shampoo in. Usually when I'm doing shampoo, I focus on my scalp and let the water just kind of slide the shampoo down while I'm doing this. You don't want to do anything like that. You just kind of want to just let it go through. Oh, it feels good. It has a light scent. It smells good. It smells like flowers. But I'm gonna go back in the shower and then um, rinse this out and start on the heavy conditioner. Okay, that shampoo is a no. It didn't work out for me. Once I rinsed it out, it's just my hair feels really, just like what majority of shampoos do. It just strips everything out, like even my natural oil. So I mean, unless you really have a lot of buildup, um, I probably won't be using that shampoo again, but moving forward to this um, this heavy conditioner um, It's very thick. I already have it on half of the side of the head and I'm gonna put it on the other half side What I usually do is put it in on one side and then before detangling I'll go to the other side so that way it sits in and just kind of saturates all my hair and then go back and then detangle so it like I said, it's really thick probably one of the thickest in shower conditioners that I've tried like it's so thick it's not going anywhere oh ah! okay yeah I went on the carpet <laughs> I'm conditioning my carpet I love heavy conditioners because they work great with um, detangling so I'm excited to try this again the same light scented smell, it smells like flowers, kind of like cucumber flowers, I don't know. So, let's get to the detangling part, it's set in. Oh, I thought this was continuous. Oh, well I thought when you hold it down it, it just continues to spray, I mean it's cool but I thought it was something else. I mean it's a lot. A lot easier on the hands. It might be getting arthritis or something. Okay. Now the brush. Oh lord. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why is it doing this? It should not be this hard to detangle. I just washed my hair like three days ago. Okay, let me just... Split this apart. Now, with adding the water, as I'm continuing to detangle, okay, that's better. Okay, 
Well, as thick and creamy as it was, it sure doesn't detangle or hold that thickness once you apply it. Yeah. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's just the brush or what. Let me get my other denim brush, hold on. Okay, that's just better, that's way better. Because at first I was like, what the hell? Maybe because it's just so, so much more bristles and these are more wide tooth. So I have to work on smaller sections, but this is kind of rough. Like, using this brush, I think it's the brush. I don't know why it's doing that. It's really rough. Although, I mean, it comes up as, you know, I feel like it would be a good styling brush for defined curls, but as far as detangling, I don't think so. Okay, um, so yeah, it's on. I'm already having one of the right side, and so far I'm not impressed. Um, I was expecting highly from uh, the the conditioner, the, especially that it's heavy conditioner. Um, it's just not really doing what I thought it was. I mean, I guess I was under the impression that it was like, I don't know, it was just gonna melt my curls, my tangles away. And I didn't have that much tangles to begin with just because I recently washed my hair, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish and get out the shower and then I'm gonna style my hair with the leave-in and the serum. Hopefully it's different with the leave-in and serum because the shampoo and the conditioner, it's just not cutting it for me. Okay, I just made it back out the shower. You're probably wondering why I have the same shirt on. I promise you it's not dirty. Woke up this morning, changed out of my pajamas and put this on to film. So this is like a film shirt. <laughs> I promise. I don't want y'all thinking I'm dirty. When I got back into the shower and I was using warm water to detangle. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm parched. So yeah. When I went back into the shower to re to detangle and get the conditioner out of my hair, it did work out a lot better with the warm water. So, I mean, it was, it makes kind of sense how I'm trying to detangle out here and I don't have running water going down. So that's why, but still I expected like highly of that conditioner. I thought it was just gonna melt the tangles away with little effort, but I had to use a little bit of effort um, the shampoo, I wasn't a big fan of the shampoo, but the conditioner was all right. It wasn't a miracle, but it was all right. I am using their leave-in. Oh, okay. This is lightweight. I thought it was gonna be, um, I thought it was gonna be a lot thicker, but that's cool because um, low porosity hair does better with water braced or water based leave-ins anyways Okay, so I'm gonna go in with their leave-in and then I'm gonna go in with their serum and do the L Or the LOC the lock method. No, I'm gonna do the LCO method. So they didn't come with this styling product I'm just gonna have to use one of my own styling products and and then put this serum right on top of it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Brio Geo as my styling product. Um, I really liked how my wash and go came out the last time using this, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. It's nice, thick, and creamy. And just put this on top, focusing on the ends. So I just got done finished styling my hair. As you can see, it looks different on each side because I used the brush for one side and my hands for another side, where I kind of just take the products and I just kind of flatten them out and just, you know, try not to disrupt my curl pattern as much as possible. And I thought the comb would have made my curls more defined, but it made them frizzier. I don't know why. I think it's because the bristles are so close together, opposed to just me finger styling my hair. Um, I had to use, I also use less product on this side. Um, I feel like it's easier and works better on my hair with more product in it. Um, so I kind of used um, a good amount of conditioner on this side opposed to on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair, come back and we'll see the final results. Okay, so I'm back. My hair is about 90% dry which is crazy, that, that Dyson blow dryer just 
makes things so much easier. Just, here goes the side that I used the brush on. It just made my hair frizzier. And I don't know why, I thought the smaller bristles would have made them more defined, but I don't, I don't know why. That brush just did not work for me. This is the side that I did with just using my fingers. And now that I'm thinking about it with the, my denim brush, my regular denim brush, I felt like if I would have used that, they would have been even more defined than what it is on this side. I love this side of my hair. Um, I could have went with just using one pump of oil uh, per section as opposed to using three um, per section because it does feel a little greasy but I was just using too much oil. Other than that, I loved it. Um, I love how the results came out. Um, but this side, I'm not a big fan of how it came out. Um, I'm glad I did the other side differently, otherwise I would have been like trashed the whole entire line. But that leave-in is good, I like the leave-in. So, um, didn't like the shampoo, I was okay with the conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner was actually pretty good. I liked it, I liked how, it's right here baby. I liked it, I liked how it was water-based, lightweight, I liked how my hair moves. Um, so yeah, this is a go, I like this, I would recommend this, but the other ones I, probably won't use again. I'll probably give them away or give them to somebody else. Um, but it kind of sucks because I have to take pictures and I wish that I could take pictures on this side of my hair, but I'm gonna have to use this side. So yeah. So that's my full review on Pattern Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you tried it and let me know how your results came out or if you had mixed reviews about it too. Um, other than that, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another one. Do you need me?